Hello everyone, here we are once again with the 2015 6.6 .6 liter gas Suburban. So I've had some messages about, you know, what's the difference between the engine that you have, of course being the 6.6 .6 liter, and the 5.3 liter or the 6.2 that sometimes you all will see in these vehicles. So there's a couple of, of defining characteristics, um, very subtle if you will. So if we're looking here, of course we're at the front of the vehicle now. We're looking at the left side of the engine. So on this one here, you're going to have the dipstick, the engine oil dipstick on the left side. Of course, primarily on the 5.3 and the 6.2s, dipstick is going to be over here on the right side. So that's one giveaway. The second one is going to be, see the, see the oil filler cap there, 5W30. So of course on the 5.3, I know for sure on the 5.3, I believe on the 6.2 also, they do recommend the, the uh, 0W20, which is noted on the cap there. Of course, this here recommends the 5W30. And um, I've also had some questions. Uh, actually, let me back up just a moment. So another thing is going to be, there's typically a transmission dipstick tube right back there. This vehicle does not have one. Uh, this engine and transmission were both taken from a 22 Silverado 2500. And Chevy decided that it did not want to include the transmission dipstick anymore. So this is a sealed transmission. I have read on the forums there that you can add the GM uh, factory dipstick tube back to this uh, transmission, which I do look to do here in the future. So that's another sort of, again, subtle way to see it there. If we look at the air filter box, of course, it's all just still factory stuff. You see year 2015, uh, 5.3 liter. Obviously, this is not, this is not that engine anymore. Uh, and there's also somewhere down here on the block, and, and I, I don't recall exactly where it was, but when we were doing the swap, there is a 6.6 uh, stamped onto the block itself. So in another video, I'll work to see if I can find where that's at and show you guys um, you know, what that looks like. And again, of course, that would be another, another defining characteristic. So, And I've had some other questions about how... Um, this vehicle here does not come with the vacuum pump for the brake booster and people are asking well how did you how did you deal with that you know how, how did you contend with that and make that work so so what we did here is we plugged off this this pcv um inlet right here and what we did is of course we have the, the brake booster here so we tied in got this line right here it goes right up there we tied into the vacuum that already exists on the engine and that's what's running our brake booster so no more uh, belt driven vacuum pump like you guys are used to uh, typically down there on the bottom side of the engine that no longer exists so um, there's that and had some other questions about power steering so the 6.6 .6 liter engine which is installed here in the silverado hd trucks there was a uh, actual hydraulic power steering reservoir with fluid right up here on the top corner of the engine and those of you that have these Suburbans know that these run off of electric uh, steering. No fluid, no reservoir, things like that. So we simply deleted deleted the reservoir there so it no longer exists. And we still have the, the steering shaft, of course, from, this, from the Suburban. And we just used the electric steering rack that already existed down there on, on the bottom. So um, did not have to do anything different there. And as far as the belt routing and the accessories that we that we use, so we primarily used all the 5.3 accessories. Um, so we got the 5.3 water pump there. The those of you that are taking notes at home, you'll know that the Silverado in the HD application comes with a a belt driven fan. So that's another thing that we deleted. So now uh, we took that that belt driven fan off. And we're, we're dealing with our mechanical, or I'm sorry, our electric fans right here. We got those hooked back up just like comes factory on these. So you see through there, we do have a new tensioner, uh, but that is a 5.3 tensioner. We're using the 5.3 water pump. Uh, let's see, let's work around here to the passenger side. And we have the, it's going to be tough to see, I apologize. But we do have the, uh, down there somewhere, we have the 5.3 AC compressor. So... Um, as of right now, and this will change, as of right now, we are running the 5.3 intake and the 5.3 throttle body. So I do have the 6.2 throttle body and the 6.2 intake that we're looking to swap on there. I'm um, just kind of looking for some free time really to get that done. But 
from what I'm being told that will unlock a little bit of additional horsepower uh, maybe some torque as well so um, I think I've captured everything in here so after watching this video if you guys have any questions whatsoever don't hesitate to drop a comment there uh, you can message me on the side and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can hope you guys enjoy the video